most basic form of a new order is a market order. This is an order that is placed for immediate execution and at the current market price. This video will demonstrate how simple it is to buy or sell a new market order using OANDA FX Trade. You can initiate a buy or sell order with one of the following options. In the top left hand corner you can click on the buy sell button. Under the account menu you can select buy or sell using either the quote list or the quote panel. A single click will initiate a new market order. In the top right hand corner of the chart you can click on the buy or the sell button or you can right mouse click anywhere on the background and also click on market buy or market sell. With any of these options selected you will receive a new market order screen just like this. The first thing you need to do is confirm whether you are buying or selling. Next select the currency. You can access this drop down menu and confirm the currency you wish to trade. You then need to enter the number of units you are trading. In this case I've entered 10,000 units. This means I'm about to buy 10,000 units of the euro or the equivalent of 10,000 euros. We also have the price as quoted to me. At the bottom of this screen we see additional information related to this trade. We can see what every one pip movement will mean in my account currency. We can also see the trade value in my account currency. In this particular case 10,000 euros is worth the equivalent of this amount in my account currency. With my margin currently set at 50 to 1 it also displays the amount of money that will be required to initiate this trade in my account currency. In the middle of this screen I can place additional conditional information. I can activate either take profit, stop loss or trailing stop levels. And using either the pips or the price I can manually input where I would like these orders to be. For example, if I wanted my take profit level to be slightly above my entry, I could change this to price and manually insert the level I would want my take profit order to be. Using the up and down arrows, I can also manually adjust these amounts. I can also do the same, but using pips. So in this case, I will select my take profit level at 100 pips and my stop loss level at 50 pips. Once I have activated these, additional information is available at the bottom of this screen. We can see now here at the take profit and stop loss levels, I can confirm the price levels that those orders will be triggered. I can also see the respective profit or loss should those price levels be triggered. I can also provide lower bounds and upper bounds. For example, in the time that it takes for me to click the submit button, the price may ever so slightly move and I may wish to protect myself from not initiating a trade should that price move too far. This does not happen very often. However, if I am buying, I may wish to set an upper bound. In other words, if the price moves that far, before my trade is initiated, the trade will not go ahead. If I am buying, I am probably unlikely to be selecting a lower bound. Once I am satisfied that all of this information is correct, I can click the submit button. I will then receive confirmation that my order has been executed and I can click OK. The order will now appear in the trades table. Market orders can be closed at any time with the difference in the price reflecting my profit or loss in the trade. To sell a market order is exactly the same. However, we need to confirm that rather than the buy button being selected, we have the sell button. The remaining information is exactly the same as a buy order.